He is not just stepping down. He's no longer running the company. And that was the decision that was made by the Fiat Chrysler board, as well as the boards of CNH International and Ferrari. Remember, he's the CEO of Ferrari as well. So here are the developments with regard to Sergio Marchion. A quick moving weekend in terms of the boards taking some actions to ensure that the leadership and the transition, especially as they head into earnings later this week, is as smooth as possible. But there's no doubt that this was a crisis brought on within the last couple of days. Sergio Marchion replaced his CEO. CEO by the Fiat Chrysler board. He will not return to work. This is not a case where he's not feeling well and he's not going to be there for a while. He's not coming back to work. And the reason? A rapid decline in his health following surgery three weeks ago. He had shoulder, shoulder surgery. We don't have any other details beyond that in terms of what's happened with his health. But the uh, chairman of Exor, which holds large stakes in Fiat Chrysler, Ferrari, CNH International, John Elkin, who really has been uh, by Sergio Marchion's uh, side over the last 14 years as Sergio put together Fiat Chrysler, he issued a statement saying, Sergio taught us to think differently and to have the courage to change, often in unconventional ways, always acting with a sense of responsibility for the companies and their people. So what's next for Fiat Chrysler? The new CEO is Mike Manley. Mike Manley has been running the Jeep and the Ram brands for a number of years, and he has a strong operational track record. So this isn't just some figurehead who they were like, hey, we're going to put you in charge of the entire company. He's worked hand in hand with Sergio Marchion over the last 10 years. In fact, many people have said eventually he would replace Sergio Marchion. So his elevation to this position, not a huge surprise there. As you take a look at shares of Fiat Chrysler, which are under some pressure this morning, this is a company that reports earnings on Wednesday, and that's when we expect to hear from Mike Manley, not only about this transition, very quick and sudden transition into the top job at Fiat Chrysler, but also what other changes, and we don't expect any, that the company might make as they are transitioning from the Sergio Marchion era now into the era with Mike Manley in charge. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.